Hello everyone, today we will be discussing how does a BEA perform requirement scattering. In this video, we will cover a specific BA task requirement solicitation aka requirements gathering and how it works. Requirements gathering is one of, if not, the most essential part of a business analyst's responsibilities. What is requirement scattering? It is the first and basic phase of any project. They give clear, concise and agreed set of customer, client requirements that the project should provide. Business analysts are mainly responsible for requirement gathering process. These are 10 techniques of performing requirements gathering. Now let's break it down. Break it down. Number 1. Interviews. This is the part where BA asks questions focusing on revealing information such as What are the current challenges? Can you describe the current system? How do you see the solutions? And so on. Interviews can be formal or informal, group or individual, over the phone or face to face. Make sure to use closed ended questions to confirm and validate and open ended questions to find information and gaps. Number two, focus groups. It's used for when a BA wants to elicit, draw out information from a selected group. The BA acts as a facilitator for this task. Focus groups have to be very formal process, usually has 6-12 attendees, engages all members, make sure to remain neutral and promote discussion. Number 3. Document Analysis. This refers to eliciting information from existing documentation. This is a super helpful step especially when SMEs are not available. Few examples of the docs that BA should be looking at. Business Plan, Project Charter, Contracts, Statement of Work memos and emails. Number 4. Observation. It's also known as job shadowing. The main focus here is allowing BA to study their stakeholders closely as to how they complete their day-to-day -day tasks and observe the challenges they may face. This step also helps BA realize problems that even the users might have had no idea about. The two types of observations are passive, focused primarily on taking notes, very less or no questions are asked and active meaning dialogues as in use as well as performing their tasks. Number 5. Brainstorming. It is a group activity where the team works together to find a solution of a specific or generic challenge or challenges. It is also helpful to develop new ideas. Some brainstorming tips. Designate a facilitator, usually the BA. Watch group size, ideally 6-8. Establish ground rules, time limit, etc and create criteria to evaluate ideas. Make sure you don't allow criticism. Number 6. Interface Analysis The use of this technique is to understand the inputs and outputs of a system. The BA carefully analyzes and deconstructs the way a user interacts with an application or the way one application interacts with another. This helps BA describe the purpose of each interface involved and elicit high-level details by outlining the software's content. The main goals of interface analysis are to identify interfaces between solutions, clarify boundaries of the applications, identify interfacing stakeholders, define the inputs and outputs of the interface, validate the rules and events that trigger the interactions. Number 7. Prototype. Basically, the BA creates a demo model of what they can visualize for the application, meaning what the application will look like and then present it to their stakeholders. This technique helps non-technical stakeholders understand the vision and stay on the same page as others. Benefits of Prototype Visually represents UI, valuable for stakeholders with no technical background and it can be done using simple tools like paper, writing board, draw.io, etc. Moving on to number 8, Workshops, also known as Requirements Workshops is more or less like brainstorming sessions that we previously covered. Only difference is, the stakeholders are also gathered in these sessions in a structured setting to refine, update and elicit requirements. Some additional workshops info, session lasts 1-3 days, has 6-8 participants, needs a facilitator, and needs a stripe to record participants input. Number 9, Surveys, it can be used to quickly gather data from a large group of participants. How it works is, the BA creates a list of questions via any tool, Google Forms, etc., and send it to the appropriate stakeholders. 
Here are some tips for an effective survey. Have a mix of open and closed-ended questions. The wording must be unambiguous and precise. Politely request a reasonable deadline to the survey takers, ideally 48 to 72 hours. Next is number 10, process modeling. It refers to creating a diagrammatic process flow of the system for both the current and future states that can be used at any stage of the project to visualize and document the system's artifacts. Benefits of process modeling. It promotes better understanding of the requirements. Very effective way of communicating with the stakeholders. Remember, a picture is worth a thousand words. Here's a bonus technique step we are adding called benchmarking. It refers to comparing current option with internal, external competitors and learn from it. Benchmarking is helpful for observing what others are doing and benefiting from, to define improvement strategy and to find our weak spots to focus on. Now to summarize, in this video we covered these requirement gathering techniques, interviews, focus groups, document analysis, brainstorming, observation, interface analysis, process modeling prototype, workshops, surveys and as well as benchmarking. I hope this was a helpful video. If you'd like us to post any other interesting or specific topic videos please do let us know in the comments and as well as give us a big like, share with people who it may benefit. Thank you all.